All right, guys, let's get started. Here I have a boilerplate example, which you can download from the video description in case you want to follow along with this example. So I have the header component, which is a fixed header you see here, the footer that you see here, the stories component that you see here, and then I have a list of posts. So I have two posts here. So the first step is going to be to deal with the uh, pin gesture handler. So we're going to wrap the picture. So if I go in the post component, I have the image. We're going to wrap it into a pin gesture handler. First, we're going to use, so we know that we have to deal with three states of the gesture. When it begins, we set the origin of the scale transformation. Step one, so sub step one. Sub step two is when the gesture is active, we use focal X, focal Y, not to set the origin of the transformation, but to translate the image as if we were dragging it around. So to this value, we're going to need to uh, subtract the origin of the scale transformation and state. So sub step three, state equals end. We nicely transition the uh, scale of the image back to one and the, also the translate X and translate Y. So let's uh, wrap the image into a pinch gesture handler from React Native gesture handler. And what we're going to do, because the image is going to translate, but we don't want to translate the pin gesture handler, um, we are going to set the image into an animated view, which we won't translate. So then the pin gesture handler, so the focal X and focal Y value are not going to move when we translate the image. So I'm going to set um, with equals size and eight equals size. So just going to put the image into it and I can already add animated image because we're going to apply some transformation to it. And I guess that's fine. So let's create a pinch gesture handler. So because we need to set two properties and you need to use the on event with a special object structure, we have a helper function from Redash to build the gesture handler, which is called on gesture event. And we can pass the animation values that we need. This is just a, a helper function from Redash. So the code looks a little bit uh, shorter. So we need the state of the gesture. We need the scale. We need uh, focal X, focal Y. Let's create these animation values. So state the default um, is state dot undetermined. the scale and the default value is one. And for focal X and focal Y, here we're going to need to use uh, every time different uh, points. So every time we're going to have a X and Y couple. So I'm going to use a new utility function in Redash, which is called vector. So um, I'm going to create focal vector. So using vector dot create default value for x is zero default value for y is zero and so here i can simply do focal dot x focal dot y and let's apply some transformation to the image to see if it works um, so we need to apply the style and some transform. So let's say, for instance, the scale transform. So it scales nicely. We cannot set the origin of the um, transformation. But now again, three states we need to deal with, begin, active, end. So let's do it. And we're going to create a use code block no dependencies 
I mean, they are for now. So when the gesture is active. So state is began. Um, we are going to set the origin. So I'm going to create another vector, which is the origin of the transformation. So I'm going to call it origin. And so we're going to set the origin to be the value of focal. So here we have uh, also a helper function, which is called vector.set from redash. So we can assign um, focal to origin. It is simply a um, shortcut for the following. Set uh, origin.x equals origin.y set is origin.y, uh, sorry, focal.x and origin.y, focal.y. So instead of writing every time assignments to both points, we're going to use set directly. So if the state of the gesture began, import, and we can use the origin to do transform origin. Again, here we get a helper function from redash to do the transform origin. Uh, so I think it seems to work. Maybe what we can do is when the gesture ends, we set the scale back to one. Um, so here I'm going to call it gesture scale. And I'm going to create a new variable called scale. When the state of the gesture is end, we are going to use a timing from gesture scale to one. And if not, the value is gesture scale. Timing we use from redash, not uh, reanimated, because again, here it's a helper function, so we don't have to do most of the boilerplate to set up a timing function. And so let's have a look. So let's see first if I can set the focal point. So I'm going to move it here. So that seems to work no not exactly but it uh, transitions back nicely because to the origin we need to remove the um, because the default origin is the uh, middle of the view we need to subtract it to the focal so I'm going to create a new vector which is called and by the way last week's video was on uh, transform origin so if this uh, seems a bit blurry the transform origin function why we need to remove uh, half of the width and half of the way, uh, height of the view uh, hopefully it's much clearer in the last week's video where we we go uh, really slow into uh, transform origin in react native but so i'm going to create uh, adjusted focal, which is, so again, we're going to use vector to subtract two vectors. Um, we're going to have x, a new vector with x, which is minus size divided by two and y, which is minus size divided by two, which we subtract to, or we uh, add actually, sorry focal so and here that would be adjusted focal let's have a look so i'm gonna move and here i can nicely set the focal point perfect let's uh, play with the z index so if so we're gonna create a z index value if the uh, state is active. Uh, 
it says uh, Z index is three, it's, or if not, it's one. So here I'm saying three because one, I guess, is some sort of default. Two is gonna be the, uh, we're gonna need to use some set index for the sticky header and sticky footer. And three is, is when everything is on top. Um, so, let me set it here to the image, I guess. Oh. All right, so. Um, I forgot to add back styles dot image. Sorry about that. So this works goes above the content except for the header and the footer. 